With 5G service strategies evolving and key partnerships being brokered, telco edge strategies are coming more into focus. I'm talking today to Kandan Karthaval, director of AT&T Labs, about some of the key decisions that telcos need to make as they develop their edge strategies. So Kandan, do telcos need to assign specific capex for their own edge computing resources? Thanks for having uh, me today, Ray. Thank you, it's a great question. Uh, in order to answer the question, uh, we should look at the telco edge use cases. Uh, there are two broad set of uh, use cases uh, telcos are trying to resolve. And the number one is offering edge computing uh, to the end customers. And it, it could be either in customer location or it could be in telco location. Uh, the second use case is uh, supporting telco infrastructure uh, to RAN disaggregation and to support 5G low latency application. So here I'm going to focus more on the second use case and which is RAN disaggregation and uh, edge computing infrastructure to support uh, RAN workloads. The one of the key aspect that uh, telcos need to drive uh, is openness and the standard interfaces uh, in order to promote innovation and to keep the cost down in order to implement the edge computing. AT&T co-led the creation of ORAN and Acrino communities uh, to promote openness in RAN disaggregation and edge computing. Uh, ORAN community is committer, uh, committed in evolving uh, radio access networks with open standards. And Acrino is a Linux Foundation project uh, committed to creating edge cloud blueprints and the solution to support ORAN and enterprise software. Uh, in summary, yes, telcos need to need a capex to support edge computing resources. Either it is running its own infrastructure at the edge computing or supporting edge computing for the customers. And uh, the key aspect is also that uh, telcos need to nurture open standards and open source to keep the cost down for the telcos. Okay, excellent. Um, so in that specific uh, example, or in fact, in, in any of the edge use cases, can existing resources be used or upgraded or is new infrastructure required? Uh, it really depend, depends upon the telco and it varies per telco. Uh, so compared to the traditional data centers, uh, which are running uh, resources at the edge sites, uh, it is entirely different requirement. Uh, traditional data centers, which are usually large and uh, they have uh, plenty of power, uh, cooling and other capabilities that the data centers does bring in. Uh, but edge computing brings in uh, additional requirement, uh, mostly constraints around the power cooling and uh, also it needs an optimized software for supporting the low latency application. So this is where the open source communities that I talked about, ORAN and Acrino communities, are trying to uh, bring up you know, the specification uh, in order to support uh, RAN workloads at the edge. Uh, for example, ORAN community is publishing hardware specification uh, to support RAN components. And the Acrino community has been uh, specifying what edge cloud blueprints and what hardware uh, that is needed to support that edge cloud blueprints. And you can think of like uh, this is a fully, uh, fully defined solution that the communities are trying to come up with and so that the telcos can use that specification uh, in order to deploy them. So it could be a mix. It could be a hardware that is already existing, but uh, some of the edge requirements are low latency and uh, optimized uh, throughput, and also brings uh, like additional security requirements. So most of the cases would require a new infrastructure to support uh, the edge use cases. Either it is uh, telco infrastructure running at the edge or the customer uh, workloads running at the edge. Okay, um, and so are there any specific carrier class edge computing systems that, that operators need to consider? Or is off-the-shelf compute and storage suitable for these instances? Uh, in general, to keep the cost down, uh, commercial off-the-shelf card servers 
and the compute and storage, they are very suitable for uh, edge uh, deployment at telcos. Uh, but we should also look at additional availability requirements and uh, the application requirements uh, that including uh, applications that requires low latency, high security, and uh, video processing at the edge, they would need additional uh, you know, special hardware uh, that including hardware acceleration, uh, optimized uh, uh, storage at the edge, and AI, AI and ML processing at the edge, which would uh, require additional uh, support on the hardware. Uh, but in order to keep the cost down, uh, Agrino and Oran community, they are looking at uh, using the commercial off the shelf and also the open compute servers, uh, which can promote open source ba based uh, you know, interfaces for the applications. So the intent to keep the cost down and the off-the-shelf compute and storage with additional uh, components, hardware acceleration, and those would uh, keep the cost down for the telcos. So Kandan, you, you've mentioned Acrano uh, a couple of times here. Uh, how can open source initiatives such as Acrano uh, help telcos with their edge strategies? What, what can this actually help with? And are more operators getting behind these kind of initiatives? It, it is a great question. Uh, there are many open sources exist. Uh, so for example, if we take OpenStack, Kubernetes, then operating system. So some community has to put together all the piecemeal for the edge computing end-to-end -end solution uh, that can be deployed at telcos or, or even in enterprises. So our Crino community, what it does is it picks a edge use case and then defines what software, what hardware, and what networking components are required and what, what it call as a blueprint. So it put together the whole solution for, for that specific use case. Uh, and then it uh, tests in a specific hardware labs and uh, look at the performance of that specific integration and uh, provide the support for security and the CI CD integration for ongoing support of that software. And that's what a Crino community collectively call this blueprints. And these blueprints are very critical for uh, telcos and as well as the enterprise. The reason is this provides them the one spot place for the solution that they need to deploy at the edge, uh, edge location. Uh, either it is an infrastructure or it's either it's the integration of application into the infrastructure. A Crino community supports them. So without this, then Telco would be going into multiple open sources and integrating themselves, and uh, which would increase the cost for each one of the telcos. And that's where the Crino community solution uh, comes forward. And especially a Crino community is uh, working very closely with the Warren community and taking the specification published by the Warren community, and they, they integrate the solution for, for that specification and provides the edge blueprints, uh, which are uh, available for the telcos to deploy them at the edge. So this reduces the cost of deployment for telcos quite a bit. Uh, and you, you mentioned ORAN uh, there as well. Uh, and obviously, open RAN. This is really one of the the, the hot topics and, and hot trends right now in in the telecom industry. Uh, how can Telco Edge uh, help operators with their next generation radio access networks? Uh, it sounds like the the link between edge computing and virtualized RAN and open RAN is is very strong. The Warren community uh, publishes the open standards and open interfaces. And this is very important for the innovation of uh, uh, the RAN space for the telcos. And uh, the ORAN community, the specification and, and the software developed by the ORAN SC community, which is a software community as part of the Linux Foundation. And uh, it defines and develops standards and the software uh, which is supports the RAN disaggregation. And the RAN, disaggregated RAN components need edge computing in order to run that in the uh, telcos infrastructure. So a Crino community works very closely with the Warren community and uh, they take the hardware and the software specification published by the Warren community 
they also take the software developed by the Warren SC community, for example, RAN Intelligent Controller, and then a Crino community take that as a use case and uh, put together the full edge blueprints for them in order to meet the specification defined by the Warren community. So this provides the end-to-end -end solution that is fully integrated with Warren software and the edge platform that is defined by the Crino, which provides the end-to-end -end solution for the telcos. So what does this mean to the telcos? Instead of you know, downloading uh, you know, tens of uh, open source software, a Crino community provides a, a one solution that the people can take it and implement it in the infrastructure. So this really brings down the cost for the telcos. Okay, excellent. Well, that's certainly what the operators are hoping for. And that, that sounds like a very key relationship in, in, like I said, is what is one of the really hot areas in the industry right now. So, Kandan, great to speak to you today. Thanks for giving us the perspective on how the open source community is, is feeding into what's going on in, in Telco Edge. Uh, and thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you.